We interrupt this program for a special report. Good evening. This is a special report from Fox News on channel P10. Students all over the world are learning to listen and talk to each other. Now we go to Asher for more information. Thanks, Sasha. I'm here at the University of Hawaii, where I just learned that PPC stands for Philosophy for Children and teaches kids how to think, listen, and talk to one another. Thanks, Asher. What a great skill for kids to learn. Now we go live to Carly, who is at the Uihiro Foundation in Japan. Thank you, Taja. I'm here at the Uihiro Foundation, where I learned that a generous donation given by the Foundation and a partnership with the University of Hawaii Manoa has made philosophy for children in Hawaii possible. Thank you to the Uihiro Foundation. Wow, what an amazing foundation. Now we have Emmett, who is at Sunset Beach Elementary School, where kids are practicing P for C every day. Thanks, Taja. That is very true. Kids at Sunset Beach Elementary School are doing P4C daily. Now let me take you on a tour around to show you what, what kids are doing. I'm here at the library where sixth grade is voting on their discussion topic of the day. Let's check it out. Slightly different ones. Everybody gets uh, two votes. In philosophy for children, student voice is what drives the conversations. The E stands for example and evidence. An example of like something like you're talking about, and then you give an example of like what it was. The evidence is like kind of like um, is this true? Like saying that it's kind of true. The Good Thinkers Toolkit is a set of questions and vocabulary that helps students ask better questions, think, respond more deeply, and listen to each other. We had some special guests from Japan come to our school to learn more about P4C. Our new friends joined us in our circle to experience how kids at Sunset Beach Elementary do P4C. It really make me think, just because you do something and it makes you a bad guy, what you're saying is that doesn't mean you're a bad guy forever. You can actually become a good guy, but once you're a good guy, you can actually become a bad guy. Again. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah. I'm kind of saying that you can't be a bad guy forever because you can fix what you have done and make up for it and make up for things. Yeah, so you can, so you can go back and forth. Right in all of our circles, we follow a list of rights, not rules, that help guide and keep the circles safe. One important tool for the P4C circle is the Ohana Ball. This tool helps you stay focused on the speaker who gets to hold the Ohana Ball and chooses who to pass it to next. Thank you so much to our Japanese visitors for joining our P4C circles. Kind of thinking back, how did our circle go? Now, one of the questions I want us to reflect on is how we did with our listening. Were we all listening to each other, or were there some side conversations going on? Reflections are important because it helps us see what we did well and what skills we need to improve on. Reflections are always the last thing we do in our P4C circles. We sat down with some of our guests to find out what they think about P4C. Why is P4C important to you? P4C is important to me because what I saw was for the first time, children in a circle where they were actually able to say what they were thinking, their ideas, and it wasn't what a teacher wanted them to think, the teacher, in that case, introduced a thought, but then the teacher didn't even know the answer. So I was seeing the amazing ideas that children have for the first time, and so I thought, I want children all around the world to have this opportunity. 
I think P4C is important uh, not just for myself but uh, for the students because it gives them a, an authentic voice, a real voice uh, to capture what they're learning about. Um, it's a way for them to, to practice their critical thinking skills and it's a way to ac actually know what's going on inside of a student's mind. Well, I think my work in P4C is clearly important to me because what I see P4C allowing us to do is to create a better world because it really is trying to get people to think for themselves um, but also to think with other people. And if we turn on the TV, we know that people have a hard time doing that. Right? We have a hard time listening to people and I think what P4C does, it allows us to be, to be confused about things, but it also gives us the opportunity to um, make sense of the world and, and it gives us the opportunity to understand what we believe and be able to explain why we believe that by giving reasons and examples. Hmm, that's a big question. Uh, I think, I think I'm, part of the answer is because I myself really like philosophy. I like thinking with people. I like thinking about things that are interesting, I like thinking about things that are meaningful, and I like thinking with people. I think the other part of the answer is that I think thinking with other people helps us do a better job of learning, right? And so I think that's what we do with P for C, is that we're helping people, I think, become better learners, and ultimately, I think, better people. What? do kids at Sunset Beach Elementary think about P4C? I think P4C is important because you get to share your feelings and you get to know how other people think. One important thing about P4C is that you get to share your own opinion. Well, I like philosophy for children because it's, it kind of teaches us about like attention, awareness, and about what's happening in the world. So it's very um, great. I like philosophy for children because it makes me think differently and have my own opinion. P4C helps me think about my thoughts that I never thought about before. I like when we all get in a circle and we talk about things. I like P4C circles because they're just amazing because we get to talk about things that we never really think about. I like P4C because it makes you think hard about questions and opinions. I like P4C because you get to share thoughts and opinions and stay focused. I like P4C because you get to like take your own turns and talk and you usually don't argue which is pretty fun. C is important because you can talk about your feelings in safe environments. I think I think philosophy for children is really good for our thinking because as when we ask new questions, we always have new answers and there's more than one answer to think of. So there's not really an answer to every single question. So it helps us think more of multiple answers and helps us think of other things outside of school too, like helping people. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to p4chawaii.org.